What's going on, family? Just, just a small reminder that our Future Ghost t-shirts are currently on sale, and you can get them right now at www.thegraveyardship.tv for a limited time only, y'all. We only sell them for a couple more days, y'all. So if you want a Future Ghost tee, drop down to the website and place your order, and I personally will be sending them out to you. Love, love, love. What's going on, Graveyard Shift family? It is your fearless shift leader, Daylin, clocking in for another amazing shift. Y'all, I hope today finds you well. Peace, love, love, and more love to everyone here. To everyone that doesn't know, my name is Daylin. What's going on, David? My best friend growing up was named David. What's going on, Miss Polly? I like y'all's headstones. That's actually what made me stop. They're just so different from everyone else's. They seem to be a tad bit older. Uh, the shape, the color. I wonder what type of stone these are made out of. There's no dates, no one. No inscriptions, just, just a name. But Miss Polly Burge and David Burge. To the Burge family, my name is Daylin. I come in peace, love, and respect. Uh, yeah. I come to places like this, resting communities like yours, and I speak to people who may not have been spoken to in a long time. So as I said a minute ago, I walked by and I saw you guys resting here, and I thought that I would stop by and pay my respect. Love, love, love. Feel free to talk to me through this box. It will not hurt or harm you, just allows me to hear you better. Is there anyone here that would like to speak to me? Get it? Uh, is there anyone from the Burge family here? <laughs> Can you tell me your name, please? Well, I like to always try to get in contact with whoever I'm sitting next to first. Is there any... Someone said, it's disrespectful to turn your back to the grave. Hear me out. So what if I turn and look at them, <laughs> but they standing behind me. <laughs> like, I feel like their headstones are the backdrop. I don't feel like they're sitting on top of their headstone, y'all. Like, you feel me? Like, come on, man. <laughs> come on. It's okay. I guarantee you, if they are behind me, it's because they want to be behind me. <laughs> you, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, so no, I do not think having my back turned to their, to their headstone, per se, is disrespectful. You don't know where they standing at. <laughs> so, pump your brakes. Um, they say we're everywhere. Exactly. Merge family. Does it, does it offend you that my back is to your headstone? <laughs> Said no. So I said maybe it would. Yeah. 
Can you guys walk anywhere around here? Do you walk everywhere around here? You can get it. You can get it. People think that you're bound to your grave. Is that true? But are you able to go to like heaven right now? Let me get some. If you're lucky. Am I the buddy you're referring to? That's him. There's children here? Oh, that's who y'all were talking to. Can you tell me the name of the children that are here? I want good to play. I like to play. What type, what type of games do they like to play? The Bird family, are you still here? He's there. Who's here? It just seems like it's it's hard to have a conversation right here. I don't know what that's about. I don't know what that's about. It feels like a wall. <laughs> Feels like a wall. Mr. Birds, I want you to know that it's okay to talk to us. Miss Polly, I understand if you want your, your space. Miss Polly, I love you all's headstones. They're a lot different from those over here. Let's give it some time, y'all. But yeah, I mean, it wasn't like bad. Like I didn't feel sick or anything. I'm just congested right now. But it was just like, I don't know. It's just hard to, it just felt like there was a wall. <laughs> So I don't know. It just made me want to just move around for a little bit. It didn't feel negative. It just was like, nah, we don't feel like talking. There's something blocking. Okay, this is the founder's lot. So the, this is where the oldest grave in this cemetery is. It comes from 1830s. The 1830s. I can't wait to get up north to see like some really, really, real like y'all, we, we haven't touched did we touch the 1700s here in, in Georgia? Maybe, maybe. But I know up north, y'all got them going crazy. Y'all got like 
early 1700s. I'm sure way earlier than that. Could you imagine what those conversations are going to be like? I can't wait. We did New Orleans. New Orleans was scary. Not scary in a way like creepy. But it's just scary the type of evidence we got in New Orleans. Now it just makes me think like, whoa. <laughs> How interesting the graveyard shifts can really get. Like now spirits are starting to show themselves. They're starting to move equipment when we're not around. Like, this is kind of cool now. It's getting really, really, really interesting what we're doing. And I think it's cool that y'all are able to witness and grow with me doing this. Y'all been here since day one. Y'all have seen, you know, us trying to figure out the spirit box to us nailing it, and then, you know, new people being introduced from Mary Ellen to Rosemary to Walter to Adrian. Like, you've seen these people hop on board. Like, this is a journey that we're doing together, and I appreciate y'all for joining me. This is a short video, short video. I'm headed to Texas. I might play this video before I go to Texas. <laughs> so we're headed to Houston, y'all. So let's see what we can find out there. But love, love, love. Keep shifting, y'all, because it ain't easy, but somebody has to do it. And fortunately, those people are us. Love. Y'all, I'm still here. <laughs> I'm still here, y'all. <laughs> I'm curious to how many people hung up the video, hung up the video, stopped the video after I stopped talking. But I'm still here, y'all. I'm taking y'all on a little mini tour. Just for a couple seconds. Until the daybreak and the shadows flee away. I'm still here, y'all. I'm still here. Some of y'all said I had a storytelling voice. I'll give you a, I got a face built for radio. Yeah, welcome to 105.7, the neighborhood. I don't know. This cemetery is just interesting because it just shifts like the, the styles of the sections just shift. You know what I mean? You have the, the tall stones, the flat ones over here, manicured lawns, you know, tree field. Like, it's cool. This is one of my favorite wrestling communities. It's a lot of history here. It's a lot of history. All right, y'all, but for real this time, I'm out. Love, love, love.